So you might have heard a recent headline that AI has beaten people at bridge, that they have conquered uh, the last bastion, which was bridge at being able to win a game. They've beaten people at chess, they've beaten people at go, and finally, they've beaten people at bridge, or have they? Um, so I just wanted to break down uh, this recent uh, headline, which you might have seen articles like this. Artificial intelligence keeps beating humans at games. This time it's the card game bridge, but it's weirder than you think in uh, Fortune or The Guardian. Artificial intelligence beats eight world champions at bridge. Um, so what has actually happened is uh, pretty important, but uh, not quite what these headlines really make it out to be. So I wanted to break down what is actually happening here. So, uh, if you want more details, I'd really recommend bridgewinners.com. There's heaps of information on the site here, and I'll post links to uh, some of the stuff down below. Uh, but in late March, uh, there is an AI called uh, Nuk AI, N-U-K-K AI, which they wanted to challenge against human players uh, who can play the cards better. And there was no bidding. So... Um, what the setup was, this challenge is all about card play as declarer. So not defending, not bidding, which they're two, you know, kind of important aspects of bridge. Uh, but they got together eight uh, world champion players. Uh, they've Brad Moss, Thomas Bassey, Sabine Orkin, Benedict Cronier, Michael Rimstead, uh, Roy Welland, Anna Golvich, and Nevena Senior. Uh, to play a hundred hands against the robots where every auction was just one no trump, two no trump, three no trumps. And the reason for this is just invitational auctions might be a bit more difficult. And uh, the way that uh, what they're doing is that what's defending is WB5, which is a another robot, not uh, AI, but similar to like what's on BBO, uh, but they actually have uh, World Robot Championships to play bridge uh, where robots play against robots and see what's the best uh, computer program where they they do do bidding, they do do declaring and defending. They do the whole lot and they battle each other to see who wins. So uh, they selected WB5, which is the best free bot. And the idea is that uh, these will have the same defense uh, when declarers play the same way. Um, and how they actually scored this is if you made your contract, you got 10 points. Uh, you, if you got an over trick plus one and you lost a point for each under trick. And this is just uh, effectively how many imps you would score if you were vulnerable and your opponents uh, messed it up. Um, so there is a heap of data on this and you can actually go through and check out what boards people actually played. So someone linked all of the boards here and uh, you can go in, you can uh, check on, um, click on movie and you can see how uh, Anna played it or how you can see how the robot played it. And you can go through and you can compare these two plays um, to see uh, who actually did better. And someone's highlighted in green when people, uh, when the humans had a good win or yellowy orange if the robots had a win. And you can go through and uh, check all these out um, if you're dedicated. And then it's got a total score. And uh, here are the scores for everyone. But Anna actually won. So uh, the humans did win one of these, uh, but the AI beat the humans in all all the others. So uh, you can go through and break down, did they do good or not, and actually have a look at that. But uh, there's an excellent uh, analyst who's actually already doing that, uh, which is uh, Kit uh, Woolsey, a fantastic American player on Bridge Winners. He posts some of the best uh, uh, commentary stuff. Um, but basically he's gone through and looked at all the boards where there was um, a good swing to either Nook AI or to Anna and just look through the play and uh, see so who, uh, who did better and why and try and look at uh, some analysis of it. And he's gonna do this for all of uh, all eight of the champions that played the AI. So far, only Anna's up. But uh, his uh, breakdown was looking at when Anna won, 
Uh, she got four game contracts, which uh, Nook didn't, uh, and four were deserved. She played it really well, and two, she was lucky. Whereas he thinks that Nook got lucky on all five of them. And then there's a few that he uh, thinks just Anna did better in general, general, whereas some that Nook did better. But his conclusion was that Anna completely outplayed Nook on balance. And she did win, uh, which was pretty important. Uh, now, there are some more comments here, which are, I think are pretty important. One of the things that the robot is actually trying to do is it's trying to learn how the other robots played. It uses its AI and things that might look really silly to us is they might know the habits of uh, WB5 much better than the humans do. And while we're looking at it and thinking that it's lucky, maybe not. But uh, from a, just a general analysis of how they actually played, it looks like uh, they were pretty lucky in some of them. So I'll be really curious to see uh, how this update actually goes. What does uh, all this actually mean? So have robots beaten us at bridge? No, that they haven't. Like to say that they can uh, declare better, sure. That that's a potential thing, and people are looking at that to see what it is. Um, but when it's only card play, uh, they haven't beaten uh, humans at bridge. There is a massive mountain still to uh, climb with learning how to bid better and defend better. But importantly, how do you actually cope when you play against people with various systems and learning to do that, which is a real challenge. Is this important? Yes, this is a, a fantastic step. Uh, if AI has properly uh, beaten humans as better declarers, uh, it would be a fantastic tool to be able to use this and run um, like you play a hand and then you can run Nook AI to see how it did uh, instead and compare with that. So with AI beating people at card play, I reckon that's really, really important. It's a fantastic step. But no, they haven't actually beaten us at bridge. So the, the headlines here are sort of being a, being a bit headliney and uh, yeah, overstating it. No, they haven't beaten that bridge, but they have made a, a good step forward. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update on uh, the Nook AI versus human. And if you saw any of this headlines, hopefully that breaks it down a bit more for you. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time.